In this day and age, we keep recordings on things like iPods and other such MP3 players. If you're old school, maybe you're still listening to CDs, tapes, or records. But in Schenectady today, scientists gave new meaning to old school and new life to an old recording that was made in 1878 on tinfoil. It may not sound like much, but what you're hearing is the first ever recording of a musical performance originally captured in June of 1878 on tinfoil. The recording, a mere 78 seconds in length, also includes a man reciting a pair of nursery rhymes. One hundred years after the recording was made on a Thomas Edison phonograph, the foil, long folded up and forgotten, was donated to the then Schenectady Museum, now the Museum of Innovation and Science, or MySci. Tin foil was Edison's first uh, sound recording material. Carl Haber, senior scientist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in California, has worked extensively using modern technology to restore old audio recordings, many made on flimsy materials. When Edison recorded that thing, he used a, a stylus that impressed the sound vibrations vertically into the surface up and down. And so we have a special microscope which can measure in great detail the depth of a surface. That digital image goes into a computer that reads the recordings and produces sound. Now suddenly there are a lot of very, very old things that were simply artifacts that are now actually information. They're now a source of of, of a sense of the past. My side trustee John Schneider says today's technology is giving new life and a voice to old exhibits. Haber says it reminds us our iPods, CDs, any recording or playback devices may have never come about had it not been for a man named Edison who saw something in sound. There's no question that it really makes you appreciate, you know, how indebted we are today to this period of invention, um, most of which happened in America. Another reason this story is so remarkable is that very few tinfoil recordings survived. Most often, when recordings were being played back, the stylus would tear through it, or they were cut into thin strips and given away as souvenirs for people attending demonstrations. Well, the audio from the tinfoil recording will be played tonight during an event at the GE Theater at Proctor's, but you can also find it in the Raw News section of our website, cbs6albany.com. Well, keeping kids safe on Halloween night, Pastor Charlie Muller of the Victory Christian.